Sister Ben Lay. It's your spiritual sister girl, Brittany, still known as the Oracle Goddess. Back with a random reading. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Back with a random read. Let's see. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, fam. Long time coming. Okay. <laughs> mm. Somebody's ancestors are really here and they want you to know it. <coughs> Excuse me. They want you to understand that there's not one person living on the earth who is closer to you than they are. They want you to know that you were born with intellect. You were born with intuition. And that over the years, you have acquired much knowledge so basically, you can take care of yourself. You're not a child any longer, and you've never been a fool. Now, there might be some foolish, petty individuals that are narcissistic, and they feel like because you are empathic, because you are quiet, they feel like they know your weaknesses, and they feel like they can play on those weaknesses. Yeah, but they can't. So that's that's what... Um, yeah, that's that's it's big ancestor energy booming right now. Big ancestor energy, big angel guide energy. Okay, if you got an imaginary friend or your kids got an imaginary friend, then you need to understand that there are angels, there are some, there's something angelic around you guys. Something, um, man. Something, not even someone, something hanging out around you or your kids. And um, it's ancestral. It's something that is a, um, like a spiritual force that was around others in your family. Possibly your um, biological mother or biological grandmother from your mother, yeah, your maternal grandmother. Some type of and yeah shoot your dna how about that your dna has traveled from your great great grandmother all, it traveled through all your grandmothers down to your mother and then you were born and as those those other people those other people that were here generations and generations and generations before you their blood is has been traveled their dna has been it has traveled down through blood through cellular memory there are things that those people knew back then that you have no way of knowing but your intuition serves you correct when you go to use it it actually works okay that's what they want you to know that you don't need much help okay now, um, the other thing they want you to know is that it's time to discard your trash bags at the door. Try to never bring old, outdated info or your past ideas about a bad relationship into a new beginning. So it seems like someone was hurt in the past, possibly the very recent past. Either that past person is going to want to come back and start the relationship all over on some new beginning type stuff, or you were very hurt by that person, which forced you to do a little bit of dating around or talking around or forced you to put a little couple of Facebook or Instagram posts up, you know, got your inbox jumping off or whatever. Now, when this new person comes into your life, or if they have already arrived, whoever it is, whenever they come, your ancestors are saying to you, don't bring that whole shit into this new relationship, into this new friendship, into this new partnership, whether it's work, work or play. You feel me? They saying, leave your trash bags at the top, baby. Try to never bring that old stuff old ways of thinking 
you know, into new situations. It could really turn a person off. A person that is a part of your spiritual path or your love, your um, love notes and your life journey story. Shoot. They in them love notes, but let it be a whole chapter. Don't let it just be a note. Like they come in, they do something that offends you or reminds you of an old situation. It turns you off and then you kick them out of your life. Don't be like, don't be all the way like me, okay? I know we spiritually related and whatnot. I know I'm your folks and whatnot, but you got to be stronger than what I've been in the past, the very recent past. Don't be going on a on a block of rage, a, a block rampage. Okay, and check this out anyways. I just said, don't be going on a block rampage. And what came out is something is being unlocked and unblocked. Well, unblocked and unlocked. So, okay, and then we got toxic family and friends. They will tell all your business. Okay, now here we go. It's all making sense. Discard that trash at the dough. Something is being unblocked and unlocked. I see it as the, I see two different scenarios with these cards. I see there could be a friend or a family member who you have blocked You've locked them out of your life. You've denied them access. You don't talk to them. You're not dealing with them. And they think they know something about you. Some past shit. Some old, outdated information. Some old, stupid shit that don't even matter no more. They feel like they know something about you. When this person tries to come back into your life, that's the message that you need to give them. You need to tell this person, listen, I know we didn't get along in our, our recent past. Um, and if we are going to be dealing with each other, I need you not to bring that old shit into our new beginning. Please don't throw me off of my path and do not mess up our journey by bringing up old stuff. There's nothing for you to tell to nobody. If they want to know something about me, direct them my way. Let me tell them about me. Okay. That's the message that needs to be given to somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, when you unblock this person or when they unblock you or when something is unlocked or transformed or changed in your relationship, then you need to be sure that you don't tell them anything. Don't tell them anything. Because this person will tell all of your business. This toxic family member or friend, they tell everything they know because they love to be heard. They have a very, it's like a social disorder. It's crazy, like, dang, what is this? Not a psychopath, but a sociopath. Like, goodness gracious, they just talk, 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 talk. They think they know everything and they feel like they can pick and true pick and choose through what parts of your business to expose to somebody. So they try to act like they know everything and like they can embarrass a person and shut them down and end careers and lifestyles. But at the same time, they try to act real angelic with it. Like, oh yeah, I might have did that, but it wasn't that bad because it could have been worse and next time it will be. But I'm never that bad. I don't never do nothing that bad. I don't know because I'm a saint. That's what this person thinks. This person is just like very toxic. Okay, now we have another message for you. Be careful how you speak about your relationships and situations words can become a self-fulfilled prophecy boom dare that go be careful what you say be careful who you say it to because as a matter of fact if you say the wrong thing to this messy individual and you didn't get to think it through or act on it before you can think it through or act on it they're gonna make sure it comes to pass because they're gonna take your idea 
and make sure it happens. So in one way, when you talk, it's becoming a self-fulfilled prophecy because you're saying this grand idea and somebody's hearing you and they're going to go forward and make it happen. Okay. Or if you're talking about somebody and you thinking in terms of like, yeah, I can't stand this person. I want to play this person so bad. Like I wish I could play this person. This messy B.I.H. is going to give you the opportunity it ain't a good opportunity, but they're going to make sure to help you fulfill what you said you wanted to do. I want to hurt this person, play this person. I want to F this person up. They're going to go take their messy, toxic behind somewhere and organize something and sprinkle a little hateration here and there and try to start something to make sure that you get your fight, that you get your ones that you said you wanted. Because they're messy and they want to watch. So be careful with this person who you have blocked, who you've denied access to, who's trying to unlock some sort of re reunion. <laughs> like, what? You want to reunite with me after you ran your fucking mouth about me, bitch? After you talked about me so bad, you want to sit here and look at my story? each and every day now i understand one time it was an accident because i've done done it to some people too i don't even care what their facebook stories be about or their instagram stories be about but you seem to do this every day all of a sudden after you've made it clear that you don't like me you feel me so yeah we talking about that bitch that bitch right there keep them up out of your face keep them up out of your space do not even invite them into your place like, if this person want to meet up to talk to you and they like, oh, I'm in your area, I'm in your town, I just wanted to drop by, ah, drop by, you, don't you ever, 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 ever come by here. I'll meet you around the corner at Starbucks. Yeah, keep them about your face. Okay, well, that, no, let me get a couple of more. Let me see what else. Let's see. What is it that this person, this toxic person won't like let's see what does this toxic individual want what what is the purpose that they're like what 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 is the purpose of them being in my subscribers and my viewers energy if you're not subscribed to this channel please go ahead take the time to subscribe right now right now or right after so that we could stay connected. What is this person's purpose? Like, why are they in my viewers' energy so much? Is there something that you can reveal to us about this hateful, jealous, vengeful, deceitful, narcissistic person? <laughs> reveal, please, reveal spirit. your cover look at your cover please reveal to us spirit what is this person's purpose i mean no reveal to us something about this person what do we need to know yeah let my viewers know why they really need to keep this uh trickster out of their face and out of their energy because people be saying hey your auntie your uncle your cousin <laughs> your sister and be doing it to your husband girl your baby daddy they be doing stuff with your baby's daddy yeah there's too many secrets with this person to even save this relationship or this friendship this person been a hater bruh bruh come on david you can come get on the bed Leave me in cash Here, I'll take the cover. Sorry, guys. Hold on, because the reading is almost over anyway. Gotta help my baby. But yeah, that's what's up. It's too many secrets. 
anyway with this person to save this friendship or relationship every time this person come around you no matter how nice you are you could be sweet as pie good as gold this person is going to find things to to jab at you about this person is going to always say that you were acting funny you were doing something you were saying something you were hating on somebody you were using somebody <laughs> Ah, you're a user. You was using some like using some you using them when for what how where? Okay, I thought a bitch that asked me for some money and my little sister for some money has said something. Yeah, like I don't know what these people problem is, but I feel like it's just it's too much. You know what? It's so much that I'm gonna leave it alone and I'm just gonna say Google the shit. Because a hater is a hater is a hater is a hater. A naysayer is a naysayer. A narcissistic individual is a narcissistic individual. No matter if I tell it to you, if your mama told it to you, if the person showed it to you, there's, there's, I don't need to keep going on with this story. Keep this person, like, out of your way. Keep them out of your, um, your business. And, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro, let that be that because this person, they think they know everything. I feel like they feel like they could ruin you. In their mind, they thought they could ruin you, but they seen that they couldn't ruin you. So now they want to be around you so much that they're Googling your ass. They stalking you on the internet. They trying to find out if you have a page on this side if you have a channel on this side if you have like they're really they're all into you and your business like if you have a business and they caught wind of the name they're googling your business like this person is not only a phony fake weirdo narcissistic individual but they are also a um, sociopath, like crazy, like almost psycho. Like you don't like me, you don't talk to me, you don't deal with me, but you're Googling my business. You're trying to figure, what are you trying to do? Count my pockets, like my wallet. What are you doing when you're Googling my business, when you're watching my Instagram stories and my Facebook stories, but you don't like me? What are you doing? You mad because you did it to my husband? <laughs> and I don't care. You mad? Well, like, what is it? What's the secrets that we're holding? You mad because you uh thought you could install some little security stuff and listen to me, some listening devices or some cameras, like, and I didn't care. Like, you mad? You big mad? Cause you took something from me and you broke something that I loved or needed or you thought that you you feel me you made me come up this amount short on something but you didn't you found out that I had mo cuz I'm abundant always will be always have been you mad sis you mad come here cash you got pee pee you got go pee pee but um yeah y'all I just feels like uh, this person is going to be on their way back to get on your nerves, to stir up some drama, and uh, you just need to understand that this person is conniving. They conniving. Who they conniving? And when you understand that, the quicker you understand that, the quicker you can get on with your life and don't be disturbed by their narcissistic ways of being. Yes, that's all I'm saying. Okay, bye guys. I was supposed to hang up a long time ago, but I love you guys so much. I just wanted to make sure I get the truth out for you about this person. Now, you will know if this is your person because you already have experienced some questionable situations with this person. You blocked them, you locked them, you denied access to this person when it comes to your personal life. 
are talking to you or being around you and this person is coming back so when they come back you're gonna laugh and you're gonna remember all the jokes we made ha 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 the jokes on them because access still needs to be denied okay guys good night hope you can get some sleep now Yeah, I'm